Hi. So I have the building now centered on the page. Actually it's not centered but by the dimensions. 12 feet from this side, 15 feet from the west, uh, 40 feet from the top, and uh, 24 from the bottom. Also I wanted to show you, I, I got the border lines in here now, I went over that with pencil. But you can do straight lines and if you have a really good eraser sometimes you can just come back and do your dash lines later. Right? Just use a good eraser pencil and all those lines will just disappear and you'll still get your your dashes in there. And then use your handy dandy broom to clean that up. Okay. So our house is on here. Also I added an eighth of an inch border wall on here. And that is the thickness of our walls. We usually use an eighth of an inch. If you have a a foot inch wall, foot thick wall in your house, you're doing pretty good. Most people don't. Um, so we have our house situated on here now. And the first thing we're doing after that is we're going to locate the windows and the doors for each. The garage door is located in the south facing wall, going that way. It begins two feet from the right to the right of the southwest corner and is 14 feet wide. That's fairly straightforward. So we take our ruler, find our 8 scale, here we go, put the 0 on the corner, and then go 1, 2. That's where our garage starts, right? And it's 14 feet wide, we already have 2 feet on there. So let's just take it right out to 16, which is right here. Right? That's our garage door. Now if you look at the symbol on the garage door, it actually is recessed. Because garage doors are on the inside of the building, so that line is recessed. So what we would do then is add another eighth inch line on the inside of that. Come back and make our garage door line. But now we have the correct position of the garage door. It's two feet from the outside wall. and 14 feet wide. Just like that. And we added another inch here for the door space. And we run that across. Now where we know where our garage door is. We can come back either with the kneaded eraser, with the other eraser, and we basically just erase that line. So now we have a recessed wall. And clean this up a little bit with the garage door on it. There we go. So the garage door is in. 14 feet wide, 2 feet from the outside corner. Garage door. The front door begins 19 feet to the right of the southwest corner and is 4 feet wide. So we're still using that outside corner on our 8 scale. See what I mentioned about putting the, you're always putting the ruler down the wrong way. Right? And it starts at 19. So we put our zero on the corner. Here's 20. There's 19. And it is four feet wide. So maybe we'll just go to put it on 20 there. And there's 24. Right? So there's our door going in the house. It also swings in to the right. Okay, that means it swings in to the right. And we want to put the correct door symbol on that too. It's a four foot uh, door opening. It might not be a four foot door, but either way, we'll put our correct uh, sizing on that too. And opens up, opens to the right. So here's zero, there's the opening, and there's four feet, we got a little, little dot there for our, oops, I was on the wrong line, wasn't I? 
nice and careful. This is our door jam right there. That was on the edge of the garage. Zero and four. There's a line. Now this is where the stencils kind of come in handy too because it helps you make a nice arc for that door. And sometimes it's a little hard to catch the right one, but if you find, if it's rotating around this point, it's opening, you get to a circle that's basically there. See, these are too, too small. Actually, a little bit, almost a little bit too small for there. But we can still get a nice arc so that by the time we get to the door, it's at 90 degrees. Let's see here. I'll try that one. See how that one kind of centers up a little bit it's better. It's 6 o'clock. Thank you. So there's our arc on the door. And in all transparency, it's going the wrong direction. Let's do that again. It opens to the right, right? Jam four inches or four feet right there. I want to get a nice arc on the door. There we go. And then come back with our square. And we draw our door. Good. So now we have the door in the jam. A little off on the accuracy there. There we go. So we have our door in and the garage door in. Right? You can see on this symbol, there's actually nothing in the space where that door is so we open that up to just erase that and now we have our door with the correct symbol the picture window is located to the right it is 26 feet from the southwest corner and is five feet wide we're always using that same reference point it's really easy if you have a long tape you can walk along the side of your house or building and just measure from one point all of the different measurements. Okay. Door started at 19, ended at 23. Picture window starts at 26, 24, 25, 26. Right there. Okay. And it's five feet wide, which would take us to 31. There we go. And now we have our window. Now a window is really just a box. It's just vertical lines or perpendicular lines within the wall. And now we know where that is. Later on we'll come back and we fill in all these. See, all of these walls are filled in with a solid pencil. So the only vacant points in the wall are windows, doors, even the garage door and everything else in between is filled in and once all of our windows and doors are in we'll come back and fill in all those walls that gives us a good good shape of the house so we have our picture window in now there will be other lines and other windows on this that we can put in or we can put those in later and uh, set, uh, number five is to fill in these with solid black. So once you have all your windows in and other things, you fill in the walls with black. And now we need to locate the AC unit and the gas meter. And then we'll put in the electricity. So the AC is a square. And it is located one foot away from the house on a two by two foot foundation, which begins 20 feet from the southeast corner of the house. Okay. So it begins 20 feet. Well, it's not in the front of the house, so it's going to be back up here somewhere. So what we do is measure that 
20 feet from the south corner. There it is. Make our first line and then we'll put a two by two or a quarter inch by a quarter inch concrete pad there and we'll put AC in the middle to do the AC unit. We'll do the same thing with the gas line. It's about, it juts out one inch from and begins 12 inches from the southwest corner and is one and a half inches in diameter, one and a half feet in diameter, excuse me, the gas meter is. So now we have to find a circle and we're going to make a circle that is one and a sixteenth, or uh, excuse me, three sixteenths because that would be one and a half feet, right, on that ruler. And you can find that on here and you can find one on the, on the stencil that you'll use for your AC unit. So the AC unit and the gas meter are next and then the driveway and existing trees. So if you aren't uh, caught up at this point, try and finish those things and I'll be back.